Hello, if you have an Apple device that says that you have remote management and the screen looks like this, or you can possibly go into the settings and use some of the apps, but not all of them, that means you have remote management or MDM, probably from school or from work. Okay, you can't use it because it's limited. What you need to do is remove it and we can do it for you we can do it completely eliminate it and you can fully use it and it could be an ipad an ipod or an iphone okay let's go the first thing you need to do is go into your device and we're going to open it up and as you can see, you can go through the, the remote management page. It will ask you for credentials that you don't have. Well, we need to restore it. To do this, go into iTunes on your computer. Don't do a, back, a backup. Just go in there and go for restore. Try to update it and uh, to the latest iOS, which is best. Once it finishes restoring, copy the serial number from iTunes and you go to Google to this address, mdmbypass.com. Make sure it's this page. Inside, you're going to find um, where you can, you're can. you going to paste the, your serial number and click the PayPal button. It's going to direct you to the PayPal page. Make your payment $20. And then go back into uh, the mdmbypass.com page and download the tool for your platform. Once there, once it downloads into your computer, just um, open it up set it in, into your downloads folders or even better in the C disk on your hard disk. When, once you open it up, it probably will tell you that it contains a virus. Run anyway. It's pretty safe. Once it op opens up, you're going to see my name in it. That means that it's ours. Just click Bypass MDM. You're going to see the serial number from your device. And it will be done. From then on, you just have to wait until it restores on your, your device. Again, it could be an iPod, iPad, or iPhone. 
once it's done it will be fully work it, it you can get all its advantages of a new iPad iPhone or iPod and that's it enjoy thank you